Hi, we're back with a Sunday build, and uh, I did come up into the modelling area uh, early this morning before I went out for a walk in the rain. Uh, so I've uh, and I found out uh, what stops this meeting properly, and what it is is here. All this bit there here. I've I've been sanding it down slowly but surely, and then I can actually test fit it for you. Oh, and I did a bit uh, a bit of sanding on this bit area there. A little bit on the back wall and flatten it down to bring it down a bit more and it seems to do the job so what i'll do is i'll show you what i mean i'm look and then we'll carry on with the build got to get in the back and try and get that little slot over the top first there you go and it goes in right now you still need a bit of filling but it's, it's actually met that's the thing and even on the other side look so you really have got a bit, and I'm, I'm, I'm obviously when I'm gluing, I'll be doing it like this, and on the other side, and that that closed up quite a bit of in there as well. But I still put a bit of filler in there later. But yeah, so we've actually got solved that, and that was just that bit in. Like I said, if you try and find out where the where, it, where the problem is, it's okay. So I'm gonna get this off. There you go. <coughs> so. Let's come down a bit nearer now. Oops, what am I doing? Yeah, that's okay. That's on uh, 3.2. Not bad, I don't know if I can get a bit more brightness up here, but I'm not sure. No, that's okay, but I'll, I'll play with it. But I think that's quite good. Gives you a bit more depth of field. And then we can come down. You know, I keep going to the wrong thing, and I know it's this bit for actually doing the, the zooming in and in and out. There you go, so that's better. And once I get it to about there, I can actually move it up so I've got my center point. And my center point is about there. Which is good. So that means I know that I'm wearing my bits and pieces. So, so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to find the bit that goes in here. So we're going to do that. That's the actual uh, night light. Um, uh, yeah, like a night light. You switch off and it actually shine, shines light down to the ground, I believe. Anyway, so we're going to find that. And and if we go on here, here it is over here. I'm going to do it like this now because you can see better. I'm looking for D62. D20 and D21. So 62 first, and it's on a D. D, 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 D. And that's a C, C, C. We need a D. Here we go. There's, it's on here. So what we're going to do is find my. Oh, let's see. I'll put them on a turntable over here. <laughs> this is what I've done for the moment. I've put these these on the turntable. So I just turn them around when I want them. So because because this is such a small kit, it's much easier for me to to play with on on the actual. Um, area obviously with the big m10 it was it took up a hell of a lot of space but but i do like the one and like i said there's going to be another 116 bill coming up so shortly but uh, but we're going to be doing this for a little bit so what i'm going to do now is find that part oh there it is there it is it's d61 so we go to the other side and we'll snip that off i'm going to try and keep my head out of the way and uh, i've I normally find it's when I have to lean forward, but if I'm going to bring things closer to me, sometimes if I'm doing enough, I'm doing stuff. So that one's that one, and then we need D21, which is pretty obvious what it looks like. D21, there it is. Come over the other side. D21 is there, so I'm going to snip that bit there. Snip it there. I'll clean it up afterwards because it's easier. Snip that, and it's come off anyway. And there it is. I'll snip that little bit off as well. Right, that's got to be cleaned up as well. And then we are, the other one is um, ooh, do 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 is D20. D20. It's up the top somewhere. There it is. D20. And I'll take it off the long way just in case I need to. So I'm going to check it. There you go. So we've got that part off. Now, 
Looking at this, whoops. Looking at this, this goes where, where we want it to go. And it's telling you to put the number plate on and the, the two clear parts. Well, I'm not going to do that, obviously. Uh, and this part, it was all going to wait as well until I fixed it. Like I said, when we join that together, that's when this, this stuff will all be done. Uh, apart from that, it's got to be done because you can't get to it otherwise. So right, that's what we're going to do. So right, I'm going to switch off for a couple of seconds and I'll come back once I'm, I've cleaned those parts up. Right, we're back and now I've got the it all cleaned up. So it goes into the back and I might be able to come in from the front. I'm not sure. I think now you've got to put it in place when you do it. So what I'm going to do is glue it all together because that's what it says to do. So I'm going to put this part in. You've got to get the right way round and... If I come down a bit lower, you might be able to see a bit better. There you go. So, where the A5 is in the middle. So what this goes in, it goes in this way, but what we've got to do is put this bit on first. So let's get this bit on first. And you can see it's quite small. So I can get this round this way. It's got a little slot on it. I've, oops. I've actually cleaned. I'm going to have to bit, use these ones. Perhaps it'll just grip a bit better. It won't slip. That's it. So if I get a bit of glue on the inside of this one, on that little, in that little hole you can see, because I think you can see that little hole there. There it is. And put this into this, and it's got to be. Oops, that's great. Never mind, these things happen. It's funny because you release the pressure on your finger when you go to do something else. Oh, let's get this. Let's get it out. Right. So, here we go. Do a pull in the well because I'm bound to have. That's it. Now, what we're going to do now is this is the. That's the back. it again <laughs> all on camera and it typical I'll tell you what I'm going to try and do this by hand in fact I'll use these ones to hold this one so it's the right way around because what you've got is that uh, this bit of here goes to the front so that's the one that comes out so we've got to go that way so I'm going to put a little bit on there Let's, did I get any yeah, and I'm going to slip it on the top. Uh, that is funny. The actual O oh, looks at off centre, which is a bit weird. I thought it would have been off centre. Fiddly little parts. I most probably would have been better coming out and doing this off camera, but I thought I'd try and do it on camera. And goes the right way this way and try and do it. That is fiddly. Make sure I get this around the right way, which is that way. Yeah, it still sits in the middle for some reason. Doesn't sit level though.
That is a fiddly part. Oh, I ain't gonna do much good dropping it. And that looks about right now. Right, going to reinforce it a little bit. And then leave it to dry, I think. I have to leave it like that. I wish I'd used the clamping tweezers, but... Oh, no, it's moved. Look at that. It's all come off. Too much glue. Still got to put it back on. I'm blowing on it. I'll try and get it to. That looks about right though. There you go. Right, I'm going to try and keep it like that because it's going to be slid into place. It's weird because I don't. It doesn't seem to centre, and I think that hole is probably. It looks okay for the front though, so I'm gonna leave it down there slowly and let it dry. So I'm gonna come back afterwards because I can't put it into that bit and into the back of there until it's done. Right. See you in a few seconds. Right, we're back, and as you can see, it's done. I've left it for a little while. It's about been a 20 minutes, so it should be all right. And what we've got to do now is slot that into this part here. And so I'm going to pick it up very carefully. Use this. Oops. Got to get it the right way around, and I don't want to hold it by the light. I just want to hold it by this, this bit this way. And what it does, it slots in. So he says. Anyway, so it slots into this bit down the bottom, like so. And it's gone in there. Now it's not central, but uh, and the point is though, I could have cleaned that up and put it, moved it over, I think, but uh, that's the way it's got to go. It is slightly to that side. Do I do that or do I not? Uh, no, I suppose at the end of the day, it's a possibility it would have been sitting off that way, but it just doesn't seem right to me. So what I'm going to do is take, I'm going to take this off and come back afterwards because I'm going to put that in the centre. Right, we're back and I had to do a bit of engineering on that to get it to sit in the centre and drill a smaller hole. And um, it looks like it's going to be sitting a bit lower, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to be gluing it back into here now, or into this part. And it is that way around, doesn't it? Uh, let's have a quick look. Yes, it is, goes to the top. So we're going to got this part in. So now I'm going to try and get this the slot into place and it's coming to view it might be helpful suppose gravity could be our friend has had some Ron Calvises so I can actually put it in this way and now it's in place. Now it's going to look the part. Uh, not going to be quite as high as it would have been most probably. I'm still tempted to get a bit of plastic rod and, and put a new rod in it and make it up a bit or go out a bit higher. Because I think it does look, yeah it looks a bit higher. So what we're going to do, switch off again, sorry about this. Right I'm back and 
I've done that, I've put in it, oh, can you see it? No, you can't, I've got to go careful here, I don't want to muck it up too much. I've put a, used a stretch sprue, made it the, the thick end of it, and made it, um, extended it so it's up slightly higher, and it's in centre now, so that's okay, letting it dry thoroughly before I do anything, and this bit does fit inside quite nicely, so, I'll be able to put that, it's got, it's got to go into there before you can put it in the slot into there. Now what I have been doing while I was sitting waiting and forgot to put the recorder on again, is I've actually cut up and cleaned this bit up and stuck it onto here as you can see. And now I've got a bit of bit to do and it's over here and I've got to put that fuel cap onto there, that's what it looks like. So what I'm going to do now is do that on, on video and put it there like that. And then try and get that to go on, so on top of it. Sometimes it's just easier to drop it into place yourself. Right, there you go. And I'm going to run a bit of glue around the edge of here. Where I cleaned up. And blow on it. So, the fuel cap is in place. Right, so. Really pleased with that. It does fit in nicely now. I'll obviously give a demonstration. So here it is. And it fits into there. If you slot it in, into there and get it on the other side. See it drops in nice in place, which is good. So that's okay. That's done. So that's ready to, to put in when we can finish. I won't put that in until I've got this, the actual disc joined up to that because I think it'd be better that way. So I'm going to wait for that to dry now. And I'm trying to look at what's ahead. I'm not going to do the windscreen yet because that's all clear. So what we've done, what we've actually done now is that piece there, as you can see. We've done all that. I might do the doors next because I don't want to touch that now until it's actually fully dry. So we're going to do the doors now. So what we're looking for is C, C10 and C, e, C, uh, C11. And you can't muddle them up because basically they're the same. And then the other parts are the same. They've got 15, no, no, so you've got to do one at a time. So that's what we do, one at a time. So, right, I'm going to, I'm going to go out a little bit so, so we can get a little bit more. All right, it's going wrong way. That's it, and what I'm going to do is move these, some of these bits, put this away, because I used the drill to drill a bit more of a hole underneath the light to get it in the centre, which worked. There you go, that goes back in there, pops up on the shelf, and that goes back in the cup. Right, and let's never get this bit out of the way. Clear up a little bit there that I had was, was wrong size. Put it over on the mat over there out of the way. So it's gone over there. Don't know what that is. That looks like a bit, oh yeah, come off that wall. Right, here we go then. So we've got to basically look, look for the doors now, and the doors are on. On C, and we wanted to do the top one, with this, which is C11. And you can't muddle them up really, but look, but it's best to do them one at a time. So we've got number, whoops, number 11 is this one. So I'm going to cut off number 11 first. I can actually cut those little knobs off the ones on number 10. So I can do that and cut this one off. And I think I've done that one yet. Yeah. In fact, I can, ah, right, and then we'll do the center ones. And do the one on the other side. Technically we only have one bit to cut off when we come back. So we want number 11 I said, didn't I? Yeah, number 11. And here we go. Oops. <laughs> oh dear, 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 dear. There you go. That's that one. So we start on the door. So now we want um, number 16, which is this one. This one over here. Oh, it's round and it's over here and it's got to slide up and snip and goes down to there then we want um, 17 and 17 oh that's all the same and there's that C now that's A so what we're looking for that so basically this this sprue as you can see is all empty so all I need to do really is cut 
that, that, and that. Cut th that, oops, and that and that, which have gone on the floor as usual. Now just double check, there's nothing on the sprue. And shell if you can see it. Oh, <laughs> joking really. There you go, so that, that's a sprue gone. So I'll hang it up there out of the way, just in case, but I don't think there's anything on there. Right, so that's that one. And that's that's got to go over there as well. And now we want to, uh, um, A. I think it's A for the, yeah, A is. And here's an A, we've got two A's, so that's good. Right, so what we want now is to clean up this part. So I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna take all these bits off, which you can see on there. Yeah, yeah, you can see that bit angle. All off and then they'll be ready and then I'll come back when we're gluing it together. See you in a few seconds. Right, I'm back and I've zoomed in because I've got the doors and I've cleaned the parts up. <laughs> you can see how small they are. And uh, so what we've got to do now is put this in. I'm going to try and keep it in the scope and I, I can lean right over so that's okay because I'm without being in the camera, which I didn't want to be. Right, so we've got to get the, on the front side, this is sided because it's got an angle, so it goes in like that. Just test fit it. Yeah, it goes in there. Right, so what we're going to do is do that. So we're going to put a little bit of glue. Just in here. And in here. And then slip it in place, hopefully. And there it is. And that's going in okay. I think that goes about that's it. It's done. I'm just going to run that along there. And then blow on it. It's going to come off here to blow. Gets rid of the excess straight away. There we go. That is done. All right. I get the uh, oh, it's a bit closer actually. No, that's a bit better. That's more more light in there. There are two point eight, but that's okay. Right, so that's that bit done. So now we've got to put uh, um, an handle on this side. Look how small that is. That's going to go in there. So basically, one on this side, and one on that side. Yep. So. What we're going to do is first thing we do is we put the double handle in, which is this one. So I've got to get my tweezers again, which I've nearly misplaced, and this is going to be really wet my finger out to do to just to pick that up. Right, and that goes into there. So a bit of oops, bit of glue on either of these, and slipper into there no nope, it doesn't want to go oh of course there's going to be no glue on it now This is awkward, very fiddly little things. <laughs> it's not going to go, I've got to let it dry. I might do this off camera. It's so small and even them are even smaller now. So I'm going to come off camera and do this. So I'm going to switch off now and I'll come back after I've done it. Right, I'm back and as you can see, I've got two handles to do on the outside and they were really awkward to do, really fiddly and I managed to get to them in the end. I had to do a bit of clean up around with a, with a bit with a, with a, with a sander on certain parts, but, but they still look clean, so that's the main thing. Now we've got this to do now and we've glued it and like I said earlier on, so we're going to try, to try and do that now and uh, put it into this slot, which goes into there. So we'll see, see what we do. So. So what I've got to do is move this out of the way and make sure I don't lose those two very small 
bit is handles. There you go, they're both in that square over there. You can't see it, but they're over in that square. So I'm over here now, I don't want to be touching over there. So what I want to do now is slot this in and then drop the glue in. So what I want to need now is to get this like so on the other side, because this side's no good, and drop into the place. See if it works this time. But this time I've got to, this is extended up, it looks more, oops. <laughs> Good fun, there's Burble. And drop it into place there. And here we go. Now it's gone in, but not square. So I'm going to try to get this one out and come back in. Oh. At least it was the right way around. Ah, gone in. And now it's in. So I've got to drop some glue in now. And I think you can see it looks pretty much okay now. It's in the centre, which I wanted. Uh, it may look a bit dingy inside, but then again, it's not a problem. So we're going to drop some glue into this. And I believe this has got to be thinned down because it's. Oh no, we might not have to, so we'll find out. Just dropping that in there. Dropping that in there. Gonna let that dry now. So that's okay. Not a pain in the butt when you get these things, but anyway, so I'm gonna let that dry now. I'm gonna push it in a bit further. I've got it in a bit leveler now. There you go. That's in as far as it should go. And so it should fit quite nicely into the front bit. So I'm going to give it a little bit longer. And then we're going to put it in the front of this, give it a test. So, should we do a test now? Why not? Right, it's in place. I'm going to come out a bit. Wrong way. And there you go, so I'm going to come in. Oh. Always goes wrong when you're actually doing it online or on video, but anyway. Right, let's see if that works. I think we've got to cut that bit down. I've got to file that down now to get it to actually fit. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'll be doing it on my, see if we can do this like this. That's not going to be good. A bit more coarser one. This one do it. I think someone else had this problem. get down flat to the shape of the actual insertion. Oh, sorry, you can't see that, can you? Sorry about that. Now I've damaged that bit now, I think. So I've got to get a bit of glue in that. And hopefully it'll stay there, because God knows how to get it in there. See, I'm going to have to go off camera. Sorry, mate. Sorry, everyone. Right, we're going to go back to this and put this in, in place on the back. We can do that as now. And I, as I said, I've filled that. And I, I haven't uh, cleaned that up properly, have I? Where have I? Yes, I have. 
Let's give it another one. As it happens, it doesn't matter when you see it. Well, you will see it actually because it's uh, it's on the right way up. So filling that pot, filling that to hole was a good idea. Sanding on on the bits are raised, and if I get this out, where is it? I'll clear that. Let's scrape that little bit there. Oops, you can't see it. There's a little bit, a little bit of seam there. That's it. A little bit of a seam there and all. So we get rid of that. I suppose that would be much seen, but um, I think I've done this side. Yeah, I did. And that's the way it goes on. And that's why I had to fill that bit, because there was a hole. Hole there, as you know, from the previous, one of the first videos, I think. Right. I think that's done. Right. I'll put it in. So I put a position in there. So I'm going to get my glue, put it into the back. And put this in place. That's it, and I'm going to drop a bit in the back. A little bit around there. That's it, and let that dry. And then the next thing is to put the prop on. I've put it properly on, prop on. Right, what I can do now is blow on that, put a little bit of this into the hole, and have it sort of Semi in the right place. Might have been better to glue that in there first, but there you go. Now it's got to go up more right. Just to kind of go a little bit there. I think that's right now. Yep. Gotta go slightly that way. I think that's okay. Sort of. Yep, that's okay now. And we've got it on. It's got to be away from the body because there with the gap through, so you can see through because it swings down into the water. So, I'm going to let that dry now. So, we've done another bit, and uh, what I want to do now is just start snipping off bits I need. So, let's have a look. So, we've done all that bit now, we've gone back and done that. <clears throat> we've done all the door, the weird wheels, they're in, a, they're in that pot, as we know, with the size. And done all that. 
we've done all that. We haven't put the back seats on, but it doesn't matter because they're on. I'll show you where they are. They're sitting on that, ready to be sprayed later. So they're sitting there. Done all that, done all that. That's got to be done. That page eight and nine have got to be done. And that's that's done, because we've done that earlier on. Coming over to here, and we can start thinking about getting things off now. So there aren't too many bits left to put on. We're not going to get it done today anyway, because I've obviously got to, um, dinner duty later. <laughs> I've already started it off anyway. It was in a slow cooker. So right, I'm going to get steering wheel off, and we'll start picking things off. So I'll just do that on camera. I'll clean it up all off, off camera, obviously. And that's that one, so... One. Two. So that goes over there. So we put things over there to go. Next thing we need is... Uh, the hinges, but well, they're going to be... I can cut them off, though, so it's... D8, D4, D6. Ah, oh, they're separate numbers, so I won't touch those. We'll do that when we put the doors on. And then we, we, we can put them on the body top because basically, but I think as I'm going to be sanding the joint, I won't be doing that. So this is D78. So we do that one. We can't miss what that one is. Bit of cleaning up on this. And there's a stump there. And another one there. that bit so that's that bit done now we want the pump which is d75 because it should be easy to see there is the pump so get that bit off there as someone said this is a hand pump that basically empties out water that gets inside the vehicle in the com crew compartment right, so there we go and on the other side now, is that bit? Yeah, that's okay, I've got to do that. I've got to come this way. Won't be get too close, but close enough. It's another bit done. So we've got that, that and that off. Oh no, we haven't got this off. This is over here done. Oops, let's get rid of those bits into that pot. So they've been doing the back cover. When we go over this side, oh, we're straight in there. So <clears throat> this bit is near the end, so we'll just there's some more bit of course these are all the bits that have got to go on so let's get the cover off clean this up out oh, of better off coming in this way that's that bit so we've got that bit off Right, I'm going to have to do these as we go. We can clean this bit and that bit. So really, we get, we've got to go back to this page. This page, so it's, it's, all we've got to do is all the bits that are on eight and seven, when I've actually joined the body together, I think, as I said, and then get stuck in. And we're not far off done, so. Right, so I'm going to come off of this. I'm going to clean this bit up and uh, so, and if I, I will come back to finish putting that bit in the front of this whole piece, so that's okay. The bit's in there. It's because that's so I've run a little very thin super glue around it as well to give it a bit more extra support. Right then, so see when we come back to glue that part in. Clean this up, oh, I'm better off coming in this way. That's that bit, so we've got that bit off. Right, I'm gonna have to do these as we go. We can clean this bit, and that bit. So really, we get, we've got to go back to this page. This page, so it's, it's, all we've got to do is, all the bits that are on eight and seven, when I've actually joined the body together, I think, as I said and then get stuck in and we're not far off done so right so i'm gonna come off of this i'm gonna clean this bit up and uh, 
so, and if I, I will come back to finish putting that bit in the front of this whole piece so that's okay the bits in there it's because so I've run a little very thin super glue around it as well to give it a bit more extra support right then so see you when we come back to glue that part in right we're back and we're going to glue this part in so here we go so all I'm going to do is put a bit of glue inside oops let's get this on the wall standing up bit so I can actually get in for the back <coughs> right we'll put uh, a bit of glue in all round there to the top round the edges and then we come in I think that's in the right place let's have a look yep that's looking pe much better now so what we've got to do is get a bit of glue around that a bit more and hold it into place yep that's it and there it is all in place very nice done and it does look okay <clears throat> now I can scrape a little bit oh no what I'll do is I'll run a bit of glue in it because that clears that sort of thing yep it is Right, that's done. That is much better now. There you go, so that's done. So we've done that bit. So now, put the glue away. <coughs> and I might come back and show you the doors complete with those handles on, but I'm gonna leave that for the moment. And I'll catch you in the next segment or the next update, we'll see what, how far we get. Happy modeling, just in case. <laughs>